Hang on a minute. I did not neaten myself up. How high up does my hairline go? Right there. Right there. I knew you wanted to know. The little samurai ponytail going. Yeah. Don't look any better. Man, getting up early kills me. Yeah, that was how I got shingles. I had to wake up early, and the stress from that just caused my body to say, uh uh, if you're staying home for a week, you have shingles. That was, wow, that was two years ago. Hmm, how time flies. Hi, everybody. I'm Christopher Robbins Herman, but you can call me CRZ. It's Monday, another Monday, which means we're starting all over again. Had an 8 o'clock meeting. I called in, I said, hi, this is Chris Zimmerman, and I didn't speak for the rest of the hour. I could have done that at home. Why didn't I? I'd like to say hi to all my coworkers who are watching. I have a 7.30 meeting tomorrow and a 7.30 meeting on Wednesday, so I should be good and, you know, even worse than this by then. I'm so looking forward to it. Really, I haven't had enough caffeine today. I think that's the problem. But because I have one foot out the door, I'm not about to go running for caffeine now. What was I going to do? I don't know. I was going to show you something. What was it? Think, think, think. Can't remember. Saturday... Kim took me to Axeman Surplus, and we got my anniversary present, and it's super awesome, and I need to take a picture of it to really show you the awesomeness of it, but suffice to say, it was a walk, don't walk sign, and it's in my basement now, on top of the freezer, which may be not the best place for it, but it'll do for now. Yesterday, when the lows were in the upper 20s, and when I woke up, it was 56 degrees in the house. I said, okay, that's it. And I went ahead and fired up the furnace, which is always tough because you got to bleed the radiators. So you have to strike that delicate balance where you want water in the system and you want pressure in the system, but not so much pressure that the furnace decides to explode and set your house on fire. So we didn't do that. But I did a fair to midland job. It always ends up being just me, so it's me running up and down stairs when what I would prefer to do is to kind of handle all the little dials and uh, knobs and whatever the things are that allow the flow of gas and or water to go on and off and then let Kim turn the radiator key and let the smelly air come out of the radiator. But alas, my beautiful wife was sleeping, and I couldn't wake, well, I could have woken her up, but I felt it was probably better off for me to just do it myself. But the house was nice and warm when she woke up, so that was good. The thing about them old furnaces is, man, they, they work. And then your house is way too hot. So that's the other thing, is you can't set the temperature too high because after the furnace runs for a while, it just kind of keeps heating on its own even after it's shut off. You're like, no, too hot, stop. Speaking of which, 63 degrees outside today, finally, back into some seasonal averages. Although it is warmer, rain is threatening. We haven't had rain for weeks, though. So rain would be good. What will happen is we'll get these gray clouds and maybe one big fat raindrop, and that's it. That's all we'll get. Not a lot of rain. When I left here Friday night, uh, up in Roseville, it was almost like flurries. It just kind of, but they were, they weren't rain. They were a little harder. 
But I was in shorts, and I didn't feel like sticking around to find out if that's what was actually going on or not. By the time I got into the city, there wasn't any of that happening in Minneapolis. So I am wearing shorts today. There's my leg. Uh, Got a stretch. I can't go on any longer without mentioning the Packers losing. I, I don't get it. Although, because it's been about two plus years of this nonsense, maybe they're just not as good as I think they are. They don't have now 638, 438, 1638, my bad. 438, 63 degrees. They can't put together 60 good minutes. They have about 30 good minutes of football in them, it seems. They're good for about a half's worth of football, which usually means second half or second and third quarter or I don't know what it is. But I can't tell you how many times in the previous couple of seasons where they I've seen them build this big lead. And you can't feel good about it because they just slowly piss it away until they lose on the last drive. They did it last year. They did it the year before a couple times. Why did I say they did it last year? They were 15-1. But even though they won, I mean, they won more of them last year. But it's the same deal where you can't ever rest easy. They don't build a huge lead and sit on it. They build an okay lead, and then next thing you know, they've given up a touchdown, and then they've given up another touchdown, and then there's a stupid interception or fumble. Or What I'm getting at is this year has been so difficult to enjoy football while I'm watching it. And I don't know why I keep doing it, because each week it's just been the same thing. I can't enjoy it, because they're not winning. And even when they're winning, they... You can't feel good about it until maybe there's 10 seconds to go and they have the ball finally. It was like last week when they were, we relied on somebody to miss a field goal. And then this week we missed the field goal. Packers! Still. Can still win the division. Even though they're now two games behind Chicago and Minnesota, but that doesn't mean anything. Because if we beat those guys. It doesn't really matter what happens for the rest of the... Well, you got to win some of them, though. Tough being a Packers fan, man. I was going to shave again, but shaving after losses hasn't helped the previous two times, so why would it help this time? Plus, I kind of like the beard. I'll let it grow in. I will probably shave it, uh... I don't know, around Halloween. i got to do Movember, right? For nobody but myself, but you got to start with a clean slate for Movember, so... That'll be the absolute latest. So much talking. I'm sorry. There's comments I need to get to on the W. And the only one I'll get to... Well, we'll see how fast I can pick them off. Greg had said something about Duncan Donuts not being that great, and... Where Greg comments, Doug is sure to comment as well, and Doug said... Uh, I think Duncan Dovitz is overrated, and I refuse to worship at the Temple of Star Crooks. And he used dollar signs for S's. Tully's is my favorite Northwest-based coffee chain, but I live and die by community coffee, red bag, New Orleans style with chicory. Well, that's good to know. We've got two flavors, or two levels of Seattle's Best, level three and level four. I couldn't tell you what the difference is between one and the other. Maybe if I remember, I'll bring a bag in and I'll show them to you. That would kill some time. I want those cookies and M&Ms. You're a lucky man. I only got coupons for free carrot syrup sent to me. I don't know if you... Is there a Target where you are? I don't know where tar, Target's uh, permeating northern New Jersey or not. I have to go to Atlanta next week for a less than Cedar Rapids-like insurance convention. Oh, crap. You're already there, probably. Any suggestions on what I should do there? I made one trip to Atlanta in my life, and I saw a lot of record stores, and... They're probably all gone now. Uh, this trip was in 1995, and it was kind of a long story, but it had to do with a triangle route I made to get to the RSP, RSPW convention in Philadelphia, but there was a trip to Atlanta there as well, and I went to a center stage taping for Saturday night, but I only got to see half of it because that was the night I flew back to California. So even that's not happening either. So, no, 
My brother could probably tell you what's in Atlanta, though. He uh, he had to make trips there. Would you start Matt Ryan or RG3 this week if you own my fantasy football team? Uh, that would never happen. I don't know. Um, start Matt Ryan because RG3 will probably just get a concussion. Probably should have answered this before Monday. Okay, I'm over 10 minutes, so uh, Pie Man will get to your stuff. Please feel free to attack on the end of it, too. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, where I will be even more of a zombie than I am right now, because I'll have gotten here a half hour even earlier, and and I'll have to have had endured three hours of raw. Oh, my God. The things I put myself through for no reason at all. The thing that you put yourself through by watching this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.